This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Fundamentals course. I'm on Lesson 6, Creating Art with Code, Puzzle 4. This spaceship needs a window. Each side of the inner square is 100 pixels. Okay, and all of the ang angles are 90 degrees. Okay, and I'm standing here. Let's try moving forward. Be careful not to use jump. Jump doesn't draw. It has to say move forward. And then I think I'm going to turn right and move forward and it's always a good idea to test out code so let's see what I have so far oh good I'm headed in the right direction so I think I'm gonna move right again and move forward again and then maybe one more time right and forward if you're fancy and know how to use a repeat block this would also work right because move forward turn right is the same so I could put that in here and get rid of the rest of this I'll show you Woohoo! So that gets us there, but we can also move forward, turn right, move forward, turn right, move forward, turn right. So each of these chunks is the exact same thing. So instead of writing it so much, okay, right? Instead of writing it so much, we can just write it once. And what I did was correct, but we can just write it once and have our character automatically do it four times because any blocks inside of this repeat four times happens well four times it runs it once goes back up twice three times four times let me show you whoops oh i need to move forward then turn right minor details let's try it now so it does the exact same thing our code did before. It's kind of neat, the repeat block. It can save you time, but either is technically correct. It's just in coding, you try to eliminate redundancy. So efficient code is great code, but while we're learning, yeah, both are awesome. Let's uh, keep going.